In this video, I want to use this unit circle to prove some useful results of tan. So let's first prove, see what is tan of an angle. Say, okay, so let me use a darker color. So this is center O. So this is circle center O. And this is say B. Oh, so let's say this is A. This is B. And this is an arbitrary point P. And let's drop a right angle here. Yeah? So O, so let's write the fact. So you can say uh, OP, OA, OA is equal to OP is equal to 1. That's one thing that you can say very clearly. They are of radius 1. Okay. And say, let's say this is angle, 30, uh, angle theta. Let's call that as angle theta. And let's drop a right angle from P to OA and say this is. And now let's look at this triangle. So I'm drawing this triangle out so that you can see clearly. So this is triangle O. This is triangle. This is triangle OAB which is a right angle triangle and this angle is theta and this is an arbitrary point P here and this is right angle so we can say triangle OPM triangle OPM is similar to OBA OBA because uh, two angles, corresponding angles are equal, so you can also prove this is equal, this is congruent to this. So these two triangles, so let me do use different colors. So this is, this is inside triangle. So this is the inside triangle. This inside triangle is similar to the mother triangle. So this is the daughter triangle, which is inside. And this is inside the mother triangle OBA. Okay, so using a uh, rule of similar triangles, can I say, okay, before that, so let me show one more fact. Okay, so if this is cos theta, this OP is 1. This is 1. So can I say cos theta? Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and hypotenuse is 1 so cos theta is om and sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse again hypotenuse is 1 which is pm so basically this is cos so this is cos theta this side is cos theta and this side is sine theta okay so once that is decided if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. Okay, so can I say like this? Uh, if two triangles are similar, so let's start with AB. If you say AB, the side corresponding to AB is PM. AB over PM, these are corresponding sides, is equal to, if you say OB, or OA is equal to OA over the side corresponding to OA is OM. I hope you understand. When two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So this implies what is a, AB? Well, AB is AB. We don't know what is AB. So AB over PM. What is PM? PM is sine theta. PM is sine theta is equal to what is OA? OA is 1. We have already said that OA is equal to 1. Is equal to 1 over cos theta. Okay, so this implies multiplying both sides by sine theta. AB is sine theta divided by cos theta sine theta divided by cos theta and by definitions sine 
divided by cos is, or if you think about in a different way, this is opposite over adjacent. So this is the opposite. This is opposite and this is adjacent. So opposite divided by adjacent is 10. So that's why AB, AB is 10 theta. So this side, in a unit circle, this side is called 10 theta. So if this is 10 theta, so let's uh, recapitulate. So we have said this side OM is cos theta. This is cos theta. This side is sin theta. This is sin theta. And AB is tan theta. AB is tan theta. So using symmetry, if AB is tan theta, so let's say this is B dash. Let me use a darker color. So this is B dash. So AB dash, this side AB dash is going to be, oh, uh, let me use a lighter color. AB dash, this side AB dash is going to be minus tan theta. And minus tan theta is also tan of minus theta. Okay, I'll come to that. So we saw that AB, so let us rewrite what we saw. So let me use a yellow color. So we saw AB in a unit circle, which is the tangent to this unit circle is always tan of an angle. So AB in this case is tan 30 is tan 30. So we want to find how much is the length of AB. Okay, so what can we do? So we know in a right angle triangle, if an angle measures 30 degree, the side opposite to it is always half the hypotenuse. So, well, if this is, let me use black. So if this is X, if this AB is X, this is going to be 2X. And that's what we have proved that sine 30 is half because sine 30 is opposite over adjacent. So this is a right angle triangle. So we can say in triangle, in triangle O A B angle O B O A is 30 degree. Okay, so we are taking B O A is 30 and O A is one because it's a unit circle it's a radius of the circle so therefore if therefore if a b is equal to x hypotenuse o o b o b is going to be 2x okay so now using Pythagoras can I say uh, 1 squared plus x squared is equal to 4x squared. So making x squared the subject, so this implies uh, 3x squared is equal to 1. 3x squared is equal to 1. So x squared is x squared is 1 over 3. And so x is 1 over root 3. x is 1 over root 3. Okay, so from this we can prove many results. So what we are saying is this is 1 over 3, 1 over root 3. So what does that mean? So from this we can prove or we can say many results. So we already know that AB is tan 30. And now we have proved AB is how much? AB is 1 over root 3. So from this we can say that tan 30, tan 30 degree is 1 over root 3. Now cos is adjacent over, uh, okay, so what is tan 60? Tan 60 is opposite over adjacent. The opposite of 60 is 1, okay, so that is 1 divided by 1 over root 3. And 1 divided by 1 over root 3 is root 3. So tan 30 is 1 over root 3 and tan 60 is root 3. So 
if this is 30 degree this angle is also let me use a darker color this is also going to be 30 degrees so at this point at this point you can say the particle has moved suppose if this is a particle say p is a particle it has moved 180 minus 30 which is this is at 150 degrees am i right and this is also 30 degrees this much is also 30 degrees so this is 210 degrees 180 plus 30 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees at this point and at this point this is also minus 30 degrees this is also minus 30 at this point it is 360 minus 30 which is 330 degrees so let's find other results so if 1030 if 1030 is 1 over root 3 I can also say 10 210 so let me write it here 10 of 210 is also going to be 1 over root 3 because this point when it is joined with this tangent it's going to form a b okay so 10 210 is also going to be 1 over root 3 now 10 150 when you join this point to the tangent it's going to hit p dash so that length if this is 1 over root 3 this length is going to be minus 1 over root 3 i hope you understand using symmetry this is going to be 1 over root 3 and that's why 10 of 150 10 of 150 is going to be minus 1 over root 3 and same way 10 that's all also going to be same as of 10 of minus 30 you can say minus 30 minus 30 and also 10 of 330 so you can see many results being formed by just 1030 so if you look at 1060 how much is 1060 uh, you can draw a different triangle so 1060 is 1 over root 3 so what's the relationship if you think about 30 and 1 10 30 is 1 over root 3 and 10 of 210 is also 1 over root 3 